Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, fighting out of the blue corner this evening, he stands five feet, six inches tall, weighs in at 125.6 pounds. Fighting out of Springfield, Illinois, Sean McConnell. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the ring out of the red corner this evening. He stands five feet, seven inches tall. He weighs in at 123.6 pounds. Fighting out of Belleville, Illinois, Avrin Graham. Referee Mark Wassum has the call for this contest. Here we go, quick touch of the gloves. Good. Nice, good actual establishment of your stancing. Good nice. short shots landed early. They're very controlled pace set by both these guys early. Definitely for guys who are coming in making their kickboxing debut tonight. They aren't throwing a whole lot of wild punches, a lot of good combos. Again, Ooh. McConnell touching his chin. Yeah, McConnell landed one inside there. Avron's got to be careful of those shots. Only takes a few of those to put you out. As nice. we saw in our last fight. Answered, though. Avron answered with a low leg kick and then a short inside left of his own. Ah, almost a little karate hop kick there into his, right, or into his left, I should say. Yeah. Avron has a very interesting style here. Very different in the faint situation he's throwing. Well, I would say he actually probably does have a little more karate background. Throwing a lot of those switch kicks, those hop kicks into your punches. That's a lot of, and you see he's standing a little more angled out. Probably has a little bit more, more of a karate background, I'd say, if I had to guess. Little, little nose blood there coming from Sean McConnell as we are down to just 15 seconds here remaining in round one. Very controlled action so far there. Both fighters doing a good job of setting up their combinations. Very impressed, especially for both of them making their kickboxing debut. I would have expected a lot more wild flurries from both guys, but I've seen good power shots, good counter shots, nice crisp action. Nice leg Ew. kick to end the round. Yeah, good low inside leg kick there to finish the round. Yeah, this is a very crisp, evenly, evenly compared contest. These are always very interesting to try to judge. To be in the mind of a judge at this point in time, it's always tough. How do you see that one going? I, it is tough, because I would say that Avron landed some of the more flashy stuff, and I would say that he was able to get a little more activity going in some of those flurries. But Sean McConnell landed some really heavy shots that if the judges are scoring on damage, you have to really consider. You see a lot of the top flashy karate style kicks. I mean, that, that was landing attacks. Yeah, Avron did a, a, a very yeah. nice combination. Yeah. Using that to change offset stances into his strike. McConnell got that nose taken care of. All is good here, and we get ready to go. Yeah, it looked like it was fairly minor on the nosebleed, so shouldn't be shouldn't be a factor going into this second round. Quick touch of the gloves, right back into the action. I do like how, I do like how Aaron is being very light on his feet, and he's keeping a nice wide stance. It's because it's able to let him go in, out, in, out. Whereas McConnell's a little closer with his stancing. Now, what I find interesting is the corner of Aaron Graham here is telling him with more persistence. Let's show him more persistence. So it'll be interesting to see how he takes that and uses that. We'll be. He's definitely using the kicks a little bit more here in this round. He is. I think he's I think he's figured out that he can set up his hands with those kicks. Those you know, leg kicks are starting to hurt. They are. They are. And that's where Sean McConnell needs to make the adjustment. Widen his stance. So see those kicks. He didn't check that. He widens his stance. That'll allow him to check some kicks. Right now he's flat on his feet. And those legs are just going to be open to chop up. Yep, the entire time. And set up those in and out combos of Graham. McConnell is almost baiting, though, here to have Graham come at him. I think he wants to try, yep, land a shot like that. He wants that big power shot. I think he felt that he has the power advantage early and wants to see if he can establish that. But right now, Aaron doing a good job of not letting him establish it. In, out, in, out. Ten seconds remaining here in the round. Oh, 
Oh, those are starting to really hurt. Yes, they are. I will say this, that round I do score securely for Graham just based on some of his in and out striking and activity. But there was one overhand right when you said I think he's baiting him that if it would have landed, it would have been a game changer. So don't fall asleep on that power of Sean McConnell. Now, with those leg kicks, that definitely takes away the ability to plant on that front foot. It takes away a whole lot of things in your game. It's very hard. He really needs to start checking those. Absolutely. He needs to widen his stance a little bit because right now his stance is very narrow. His feet are close together, and that's not allowing him to get that power on the shots to finish. But also, it doesn't give him the room to check those kicks where they're not as damaging. So now, if you are in the corner of McConnell, you have to be going, you have to check these leg kicks. You have to be giving yeah. him that advice. Have to check those leg kicks, adjust your stance a little bit, and then trust in that power, let your hands go, because it could be two, two to nothing. Very tough to judge a kickboxing match. This is that first round to go either way. It could be a round Graham up two rounds to none. Here we go, third and final round in this contest. Jeremy Johnson along with my partner Ryan Sutton here live from Lumiere Place Casino. Aaron coming out very, very. Oh, Aaron just smells round. blood here. Yep. Coming out aggressive. Now they're brawling a little bit, which is not always a good thing in this sport. It isn't. It isn't because at that point in a brawl, it's a coin flip. Whose shots are going to land a millisecond before someone else's? Again, McConnell has become incredibly flat-footed here in, in this third and final. Oh, oh, nice Superman punch. Superman throwing in some flash of his own. And that actually was heavy. You could see that it whipped Aaron's head back a little bit. Ah, never spin on your opponent. Spun and ate a hook. Ate very, a hook very dangerous up. in this sport. Yeah, you never want to turn your back to your opponent. It does look like McConnell's made some adjustments to that hop kick into that straight left, though. Every time he's doing it, he's kind of jamming up on the inside. Ten seconds remaining here in the contest. Who's going to turn it on at the end? They both start to throw. Oh, nice, nice knees, knees to the body from Graham. Good knees. McConnell looking for a big punch in that exchange. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by unanimous decision out of the red corner of Varen Graham. Evron Graham taking that very first win in the world of kickboxing.